Hello and welcome back to another Django tutorial. My name's Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and create a local settings.py file along with a git ignore file. Basically, what the local settings.py file is going to do is it's going to overwrite some of the global variables contained in our settings.py file in development. Then we're going to use the git ignore document, which says to the git software to ignore certain files and directories that we put into the git ignore file when we save a repository. All right. With that being said, we're going to put the local settings.py file into our git ignore um, uh, file saying, hey, ignore the local settings.py file. Do not bundle that into our repository. All right. When that happens, we're going to go then and upload our project to Heroku. When we upload our project to Heroku, we're actually uploading the repository. The repository is not going to have the local settings.py file. So the only settings that are controlling our Django project is the settings.py file. So I hope you guys are understanding the concept here. Basically in development on our local computers, this settings.py file will be ran first and then we come down to this local settings import statement and we're going to import the local settings. If the local settings are found because we're using the try and accept, if it is found we're going to overwrite some of the global variables contained in our um, file here. All right, so let's get started and I'll try to ensure that you guys are understanding what's going on here. Um, and if you guys don't get it, you will get it over the next couple tutorials when we finally upload this project to um, Heroku. So before we get started, let's test the current state of our application. You got, we should all be on the same page. No one's code should be differing at all right now, because if it is, we're going to run into problems in the next couple tutorials. So I want to make sure we're all on the same page and also test the security feature of our website by going and to our terminal and run in Python manage.py run server. Now we should get an error, which we did a command error. You must, you must set the settings allowed host if debug is set to false. All right, back into our settings.py file. If you look, we have debug set to false and this is by design. This is intentional this error. I wanted this to happen. When we are, like I said before, our settings.py file is going to be controlling on Heroku. It, our local settings.py file is not even going to go to Heroku. So this debug should be set to false because if it's not, and you have an error on your site, you're going to be providing a lot of uh, secure information or information that should be secure to users on your site. Now there's very bad people in this world who would love to have that information if you have a pa uh, popular site. I don't care if you don't have, uh, if you're not, you know, selling things or collecting credit card information or people's social security numbers. These hackers will love to just get an email address and they sell these things. All right. So it's important that you make sure your site's secure. All right, so one of the things that we can do is follow Django's um, guidance on security. So one of the big things is do not run debug turned on in production. Like I said, there's a lot of information on there that people can use to get into your site. All right. The next uh, security feature is allowed host. So when this is set to false, allowed host uh, must have some kind of URL in here, some kind of uh, allowed URL or a loud host, if you will. All right. <clears throat> right now we're not going to set this because we're going to test another logic in a few minutes that says, Hey, um, we want to make sure we overwrite this using our local, um, local settings.py file to overwrite this debug in the loud host. If we're over, if we're able to overwrite this locally, then that functionality is working correctly and we should be able to run our application. All right. So an allowed host protects against HTTP uh, header attacks. If you guys want to look that up and see what that actually is, go for it. Uh, it'd be uh, very valuable information to you guys. Okay. 
With all that being said, let's go ahead and create our local settings.py file. And the way we do that is we're going to come up into the directory that contains our settings.py file. We're going to go ahead and um, create the file. And this file is going to be called local underscore settings.py. All right. All right. So inside this file, we're going to go ahead and import OS. All right. We saw import OS in the settings.py file. Same thing. We're going to go ahead and create a base directory path. So base underscore dir, and we're going to set that, uh, assign that to os.path.dirname. And then inside there, we're going to do os.path, uh, dirname, and then we'll do file. All right. Oh, not like that. Two underscores file, two underscores file. There we go. All right, so now we have our base directory path. Um, next thing we're going to set in our local uh, settings.py file, which we just talked about, and I pretty much beat it up pretty good, is our debug. We're going to go ahead and set this to true. So we'll say debug is equal to true, all right? Because in development, we want to be able to access our, our debug feature on Django. It's one of our tools we're going to use to build this awesome application that we're building. Um, all right, and the next thing we need to do is go ahead and set our databases. Currently in our settings.py file, if you come down to databases, this is configured to work with Heroku's uh, Postgres, all right, because we're using DJ database underscore URL, and that allows us to configure our databases for Heroku. But in uh, development, we're going to go ahead and use SQLite 3. Now, a lot of you guys are probably going to ask me, why aren't we using Postgres locally on our computers? And the problem is, and we've seen this before in some of our tutorial series, is not everybody's computers are the same. So setting up Postgres tends to be a bit difficult. So to avoid that and get everybody just learning Django in general, we're going to go ahead and use SQLite 3. Now, if you guys can figure out how to install Postgres on your computer, I'll be more than happy to show you how to uh, hook it into Django. But like I said, since it's a little bit difficult to hook up Postgres on everybody's personal computers, we're just going to skip over that and use SQLite 3 and just make sure we learn how to build a cool Django application. All right, let's go ahead and set up uh, our local development uh, path to our SQLite 3 database, which is actually right here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna overwrite the databases uh, global variable. All right, so this is a dictionary. So inside the dictionary, we're gonna have a default database and that's gonna be our SQLite 3. And if I spelled default right, that probably helped. All right, then colon, and then another dictionary. In here, we're gonna have the engine, and the engine's gonna be uh, the key to uh, Django DB backends dot SQLite 3, like that, all right? And the next one, we're going to go ahead and set the name. That would be key. And then the value is going to be os.path.join. And then we're going to pass in, um, this shouldn't be in a string, by the way, os.path.join. And then we're going to go ahead and put in base dir. And we'll do uh, db.sqlite3. All right. So we're getting the we're going to the base directory and then we're saying hey find db.sqlite3 which is right here all right So there we go that is our settings.py file it's all set our local settings.py file it's all set up ready to go for us um, so when we run this locally if the local settings.py file exists these settings are now going to overwrite the settings that are in the settings.py file. For example, we're going to go ahead and overwrite debug to true. We can leave allowed host as is for now because we are overwriting debug to true. Uh, the next one we overwrite is the database. Where did that go? Right here. We're going to overwrite this. So we don't no longer have it configured 
for uh, Postgres or Heroku in our development server. We are configured for SQLite 3. All right, so that's the concept behind the local settings.py file. All right, final and last thing we need to do is go into your base directory, which is the one outside of your the file we're just in, where the local settings and settings are up here in CMS. If you're not too sure what it is, go ahead and put the print statement like this one right here, comment, uncomment it, and run your server, and it will print the path to your base dir. All right, we're going to create a file in here, and we're going to call this file dot. The dot is very important. Git, ik, I, or G I T I G N O R E, just like that. Hit return. Now, this file is going to take um, one very important um, file, and that's going to be our local settings.py file. And like I said before, we do not want to upload this file to Heroku. So that's why we're putting that in here. All right. Um, <clears throat> now with that being said, let's go ahead and just uh, put a couple other files in here that we're not going to use in our, um, that we don't want to upload it to Heroku. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do star.pyc, which I'm not even, sh I don't even think Python uses them anymore, but whatever, we'll put them in there anyway. And then static files that that is a directory that we're going to keep out we haven't created that yet dot env that has to do with the virtual environment vnv has to do with the virtual environment too depending on which v uh, virtual environment software you're using uh we're going to go ahead and do dump um sometimes when we pull data down from postgres uh we pull down the, we dump the file, and that's what that has to do with. So if we end up doing that, we don't want to upload it back up to uh, Heroku. So we'll go ahead and uh, uh, keep out the dump files. Uh, idea, this comes from um, uh, PyCharm, I believe. Uh, I haven't seen one in here in a while, but we'll go ahead and keep idea in there. And finally, uh, our, our database. We don't want to upload our database, so we say, Hey, a wild card, anything SQL, we're not going to upload that any either. All right, with all that set <clears throat> and done, well, let's go ahead and run our server, and we should have no errors this time. We're going to run our server. Notice we have performing checks, no errors. If we go to our page over here and refresh it, boom, there's our rocket ship, our welcome page, and you guys are almost configured to upload your site to Heroku. All right, <clears throat> now you got a local settings which is your development settings, and then you have settings for your production. So that is the one of the easiest ways you can set up Django <clears throat> for Heroku and development. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial.